specializing in tasty Vietnamese cooking, but also beer, ice, bait, tackle, grocery, and lottery. The term general store doesn't even begin to describe this place. Explain a little bit about this place to me. What, what exactly is it? Is it a restaurant or a convenience store or a bait shop? We live in a small town, okay. so it had to be one stop place. <laughs> so this is it. <laughs> this is Yen Tran, who with her husband Brian run this one stop shop, serving up all the things a small fishing town needs, including warm smiles and hospitality. But of course, in Palacios, that also means shrimp. Right here, this is the shrimp wrap. This is like an egg roll, but, but it had a whole shrimp. And we buy our shrimp from here. I'm going to dive into one of these. I think it's cool enough. I got six of these, because I'm not sharing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh. I thought I had tried just about every type of fried shrimp in Texas. And you just proved me wrong. Okay. I've never had shrimp like this. This is delicious. Yeah. The menu has an incredible mix of Vietnamese classics that come from Yin and Brian's family heritage. Like many Vietnamese families along the Texas coast, they escaped Vietnam during the war and found a new home here under the Lone Star. Just one of the many things that keeps Texas so vibrantly diverse and delicious. So everything on the menu are my favorite food, so I will not get tired of it. <laughs> You know, yeah. Palace has become like a, a place that you can meet the two cultures because you know they can get both Mexican and Vietnamese food. And of course, we do have hamburger. And oh. <laughs> Okay, of course, yeah, why not? You already mastered two cultures, just yeah. master American food yeah. too. Well, food is the universal language, so it's time to speak to my belly. I'm here on the Texas coast about to dive into a big bowl of Boontik Ga. I got the, the fresh sprouts, the carrots, cucumber, lettuce, and then a little, what is this? This isn't fish sauce, because it doesn't taste like any other fish sauce I've ever had. It is, we make them here. This is the best fish sauce I've ever had. Thank you. Woo, I like that woman more and more every second. Oh yeah. Like all the sauces, Yen has a special touch. Mm. Mm. That's the point. Oh, I'm pointing. We're at the point of point. <laughs> oh, point. Okay. Some of the best Vietnamese food I've ever had in my life. And I've been to Vietnam. I mean, Texas is a big old melting pot of cultures and a big old melting pot of flavors, too. As long as you can get all of it in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, so being here at the point has given me an idea and a reason to stick around after dark in Palacios, cause I want to catch one of these fish. And luckily pulling in big ones is owner Brian's specialty. We're gonna go out uh, on the big pier, the lit one, yeah. right across from the Luther Hotel. Okay, what are you looking for? Well, how about some of these fish like this one on the wall? Oh, okay. Like how about that 40 pound black drum? That'd be pretty good. That'd be easy to catch. Pretty easy to catch, I like that. <laughs> I like that. If I get some shrimp, go live bait tonight. Is that my best chance of catching a fish? Yeah, you can do that. My recommend is number one right now. It's okay. called a glass minnow. Couple of these, these are already have the hooks in them. You can use a uh, huh? yeah, soft plastic right here, they call it a supermodel. Okay. A Victoria's Secret. <laughs> right here, dirty tequila. <laughs> Who is writing the names yeah, for these I know things? It. Hey, it worked, though. If it works, can't argue with that. <laughs> hey, the names worked to catch me. Let's see if they work to catch fish.